It's spooky season out here. It's October. October's very own. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 81. Round of applause. Please. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 81. Happy fall. Happy spooky season. You know what that means. It's spooky season around here at the You Should Know Podcast. For the audio listeners, you can't see it, but we have decorated the set in some fall Halloween decorum. And stay tuned each week. We're going to keep adding more, adding more. And you know, we got the legendary Halloween episode coming out later this month. Hey, everybody. If you're new here, if you haven't already, look below. You see that subscribe button isn't pressed. You're wrong. If you look even more below that, you say comment section is it fulfilled with your name. Guess what? Even more, I'll go ahead and fill that out. We have a lot of new things coming to the You Should Know podcast. Some things we can't talk about yet. You know, each time we say and do that, we never, ever disappoint. It's going to be a lot of great upgrades, changes for the You Should Know podcast. Nothing that you have to go out of your way for. You'll all just see it. But we are very excited for that. It's going to be a short intro today. I want to thank everybody that hits that subscribe button, shares this with your friends i love seeing those screenshots of the text messages you have with your friends talking about the podcast we love you so 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 much live show october 28th at the gramercy theater there's about five tickets left please go get those with meet and greet options available we cannot wait to see you new york we are coming in about 20 days we love you now on to the rest of the episode the you should know podcast do we have a goblin, a troll, a medieval? Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> we got co-host Cam back in the studio. I want to see how you figure this out. Talk, talk on the mic. I want to see how you figure it out. Talk on the mic. I want to see how you figure it out. Talk on the mic. We got go, Scam! Back in the studio. Uh, Happy uh, spooky uh, season, Bubba. Uh, oh, uh, that's, it was me this that's time. That's not of God. It's normally you, it's normally you. We got that's spooky all... decoration. Come up, but Cam. What? Come up, come Cam. Come bum bum cam. I was saying like cum, bum, ba, cla, I was cam. gonna say cam and then bubba. So I said You said come bum bum cam. Yeah. We got spooky decorations. We do. These are sick, bro. Thank cam, you. I'm not gonna lie. These when, are sick. When we got these, when we bought these. Bro, these are sick. When we bought these, the first thing I imagined was my college fantasy with you. Shirtless. <laughs> Pillow fight. Can we do it right now? I have a beater on. We can't do this. What are we doing? We can't. I don't you said it. I didn't mean it. Your skin looks good, though. I think it's all the black, like you usually wear. Not the black of the skin. Why do you do it? You set me up for this week after week. Let's go. I didn't make What? That was a bit too hard. Yours, yours had some mic behind it. Yours, yours hit the skin. All right, I don't want to have this fun anymore. Okay, well. Hey, everybody, welcome back to you. <laughs> Cameron, how you doing? How was your week, Bubba? Dude, my week was absolutely fantastic. I did so many fun things. Do you want to hear about it? Please put on your shirt for the police come. You're not okay. good to look at. Yeah, I'm so bright. I'm so bright. The <laughs> lumens on my skin are as of the moon. How was your week, Bubba? How was it? How did everything go? Dude, I had a fantastic week, man! I spent so much quality time with Ruby. I got to hang out with my wife a little bit. She's decent. She's cool. Uh, it was cool. I bought a bag of heads and... I mean, we saw some other spooky things. You got frightened in a, in a local store. Oh my god, yeah. We went to the Halloween store to get this stuff. That's not for me. We walked in and like... It literally all... Okay, they have a button behind the, behind the counter. They have to. They have they to have, have a button. To, it, no, it might be sensory motored. But the, all the things said step here as if it was button controlled. And on oh. one of them, I stepped and then it turned on. But oh. we were just walking past and those things were like, Rah! and yeah. Peyton was like, what the? Yeah. And then he looked down and a little kid was like, ah! He yeah. was like, 
I gotta get out. Fun fact about me, since it is spooky season, I've never been to a haunted house. Never been. That's some... I don't do that. You've never been to... A, I have no interest oh in Oh my it. god, we're going. I have no... Oh my god, not. Koala Club. I will not. Oh my no, god, Koala Club. No, I'm not. Koala, if y'all no, want not. it, leave it in Koala no, Club. I'm How not. bad do you want to see him? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Why, what do you gain from that? Like, that's what I don't understand. Adrenaline spike. I don't. I don't need that. It's you don't need it. I but like it's my fun. life being like this, <laughs> mellow. <laughs> yeah, I don't even kill. Like, I, and I don't. Under That's bullshit. Cause you get on to me every week. I come on the show. How was your week? Oh, it was great. It was great. And then you say you're so like this. Live a little. And then when you have the opportunity to go do something spooky, scary, and ghouly, no, no, no. you don't take the advantage. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about doing stuff. You do cool stuff. I'm just saying you're boring to talk to. <laughs> How was your week? You don't care, do you? Honestly, I'm care? asking. Yeah, I care. Are you asking? But do you care? I care. You look like um. Okay. What's the guy's name? From um. Martin Scorsese. No, I don't. The, I actually don't know what the he looks guy like. from the show that was a knockoff Gandalf. of The Office, Parks and Rec. Oh, Star Lord. Star. You look like Star Lord right now. Chris Pratt. Yeah, you look like Chris Pratt. I don't look like Chris. What'd you just say? Chris Pratt. It's Chris Pratt. Cr yeah. There's no e in the end at the yeah. end of his name. It's just Chris Pratt. How is that? A Bro, if you if you were the controller of my life, I'd be in prison. Like if you had if you could control me, I'd be in jail. Okay, that's a great question. If you could control if we could control each other's bodies for a day, what would you do with mine? Shave your hair. <laughs> like I would absolutely get rid of your lower back hair and your head. You have an obsession with my body hair. What is it? Get that? rid of it. Your skin is too fair for your dark, coarse hair to be like just visible at all times. That's the thing. But that's, if you that's the crazy if part. you remove your trousers, the hair on your leg would frighten people. That's the crazy thing. I've never spent more than five seconds of my life thinking about your body hair. It is a constant reoccurring thought in your brain. Because mine's translucent. I, I have blonde hair on my. It's you can barely you see. You have it. weird ass nipples, and I don't <laughs> spend my day thinking about that. You have weird ass nipples. Oh, but you do think about my no, nipples. I no, I don't. Yes, you don't. You when fit. You're on record telling me you've thought about my nipples before. You were lonely. Show the clip. You were lonely, cold, and afraid. It wasn't on camera. It was on a FaceTime call, and I didn't. I didn't uh, a screen record it. You were lonely. This is what we're doing. You were lonely, cold, and afraid, and you said I was thinking about your nipples, and I said you need help. Cam, I've never said that. No, I have not. No, I have not. Does that sound like something I would one make up? Yes. Or two, you would say two. That's Answers the thing about you. You're a victimer. Define You'd, it. Uh, well. <laughs> Define it. A victimer. Define it. Miriam a, Webster. A, vi a victimer. Come up with something new. Okay. Every time I say high diction words, you always say that Miriam Webster. It's a it's a it's a grand tradition. What else would you it's do? A in, fantastic. What else would you do with my body? It's a fantastic dictionary. Okay. If I had one day. Yeah. I would run a mile to see how hard it is. You wouldn't get five feet. You'd be out of breath. I would eat good food to see how bad my stomach would end up hurting. Reject it. <laughs> and I already said I'd shave you. You uh, would, would you buy something cool with all the money I have? <laughs> Big bank takes little bank. I'm actually no, I'm have no, poor. I actually have no money. I'm poor. I literally have no money. You have quite a good amount of expenses. I'm poor. I have no money right now. I've switched banks. You twitched banks? My switch banks. Yeah. Oh! Can you relax and speak? Oh, what? What, are you going to beat my ass? I could if I wanted to. No shot. I have a... T Do it! Oh! <sighs> I have never farted so bad that I nervously played with my own ear. You literally just oh. Have I ever told you that about myself about my ears? I have a tickle ear. I knew it. I knew there was, I knew it. What? I knew it. I absolutely knew it. How? How is that that? Say it again. I have a tickle ear. Come on. Come on. You don't have a tickle spot in your body? No. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not ticklish. Your hip, them, you got a lot of circumference on them hips for good tickles. You, you, you tickle hips, you creep. I. Spit on me again. <laughs> that would have been, been, been the end. Of it. No, you don't. Right here is not a tickle spot for you? No. It's do my it. ears. Do it. I cannot do it. Here you go. Grasp my leg. So much popped out of you just now. Wow, really? Come here. Bring your hips. I can, you're not going to tickle my hips. What do you even tickle on a hip? You grab you the grab bone, <laughs> just grab them haunches, and you just. Remember in college? Oh, the bottom of your foot. I used to tickle that. Of was, your own? Yeah. No, on your foot. No, you haven't. I don't oh, have to. Does it feel good, huh? It doesn't feel good. Booyah! <laughs> we got him. We got him. That's Call the, the federal department of, of education and police. That's I don't, that's the thing with you. You lie. It's it's gonna be hard for you to make it to the kingdom. <gasps> oh, 
He took my own phrase. You're a phrase thief, thief of phrases. Oh my God. You look like a Sebastian. Maniscalco? No. Who? Good man, though. Good, great man. Well, we don't know him personally. Don't know him at all. Don't, literally don't know his real name. Yeah, he could be a murderer, <laughs> but great comic. That's the thing about you. Me and Liv talk about this. You're one no, step no, away. No, no, no. Do you just, did y'all just hear that? <laughs> he confides in my wife <laughs> as so she does him. I'm speaking like it's pig Latin. You're speaking as like the so Declaration of him. Independence. They confide in each other and talk shit about me. It's not talking shit. That is... It's a genuine concern. We can say, say what you're, they're genuinely concerned that I'm one little fall, one little wire being rewired away from being a murderer. And that's not shit talking. Not just a murderer, like Dahmer level. Like, like you he literally said, like you'd collect ribs in your fridge. I was just about to say, he said last week, he literally said, dude, if you like slipped and bumped your head one time, I swear to God, I'd walk inside. There'd be a, uh, there'd be a slack of ribs in your fridge. I was like, what? Yeah. He said, no, no, human ribs. You'd like, be Dahmer. You would collect wrists like that. <laughs> I'd have a wrist necklace. Oh, God. Ooh, that's kind of fire. That's dark. If it wasn't human. Wait, wrists don't have bones? No, they have bones, but you, you'd have to. I was thinking. It would be like a little pearl. <laughs> but you can't. Yeah, but you can't. There's not a hole in them. I'd have to drill my own hole. Yeah, dumbass. I don't know what I was thinking for a second. There's no bones. Speaking of live. No, we're not on there yet. What were you speaking of? Because I want to talk to you. I like those flowers. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't like the skulls. What, is that a big head joke? No, because you like bones and weird shit. Oh, I'm Dahmer? <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is the thing with Cam, right? Nice $3,000 pants. I li They're literally not. I have the price tag on them right now. Show the world. Go, sh go show the price tag. Go show the price tag. Big bank Hank. Go show the price tag. Yeah, show the real price tag. No, 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 you bastard. Show the real price tag. No! The real one. The real one. Okay, he got him on sale. We'll just say that. He had a hell, hell of a sale. And it was a gift. But y'all saw this. It was a gift. From who? Answer immediately. Answer immediately. A or, fan. Or I saw a fan in, at, the, at the store, and they said, Peyton, take, sorry the fans don't love you like they love me. They don't. They don't. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway. My trousers are eating me. Do you see how you keep trying to avert this? Sorry, because go. you no, 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 are go. going to get called it, to the anyway, podium what? one day. The FBI is going to come in and there's going to be a, a septic tank in your you. small bathroom with human Kingdom. parts. It's going to be hard. Kingdom. You? Yeah. It's you. How? <laughs> Ask your question. There's a fly. It's probably because you got bones in here somewhere. Oh, it's because I have bones or because you have science fair material on your desk back there. I have a Starbucks. He literally has a drink that has not been sipped, touched, or looked at in two calendar weeks. It is literally foaming. Yeah. Like there's a there's a, 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 a breeding ground in so that cup. I got a drink. Starbucks made it wrong, but I was like, let me see what science does. So I left it on my desk. Episode 79. By the I way. left it on my desk for two weeks and I'm seeing what happens. Like science and erosion. <laughs> Has nothing to do with rocks. And Ask again, your Cam keeps trying to divert the topic. My brain is firing at enormous <laughs> rates. Ask your question. Ooh, big head joke. Cam chews Ask on his it. foot like his toenails. Do you think my hips are good enough for me to get my foot to my mouth? That's a fact. <laughs> That's actually That's pretty impressive, thought, yeah. Huh? Oh my god. Oh. Don't break your hips. Oh no. <laughs> what if I what if on camera I was really trying to force it and all you heard was like like a dense pop? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and your hip popped in when my mouth why are you looking at me like you this? just shit your pants again what? I heard you no that was your squeaky ass you were doing, yeah. <clears throat> no I was holding it in enough of feet and mouth ask your question and don't interrupt I'm going me on. and don't interrupt me big head big hip nasty ass toe you do you've been smelling like shit recently I just want to no, put I that haven't. out there you no, haven't been no, smelling as fresh as you normally no, do haven't. You gave me a deodorant, now I smell good. Yeah, I had to gift you deodorant. I had to yeah. gift you a smell good life source. But I smell bad? Come on. All right, because you do. Anyway, okay. fuck, shut up. Just shut the hell up, Dahmer. Listen, this is a weird-ass thing Cam does, and this might get you canceled. Cam is, like, in love with, like, the structure of the body and, like, skin and, like, bones and the smell of, like, it's so weird. No, I'm dead ass. It's not a podcast. Like, you know Give you are. Give me a single oh, okay. piece of evidence. Okay. Oh, the one time Liv is in here. The one time. Every time I'm around you and you get in that weird ass mood, you get like hot flashes and you and you lock into this zone and you grab Liv and you literally go like this. You, go, you know how you dip low and you grab her because she's small and you grab her and you go, 
And you're like, oh my god, your ribs, just like the way your body, your back. You don't tell me you don't. And then you I sniff her fucking I, neck. Yes, you do. I have and never you go, said your ribs, your back. Yes, you I do. I grab my wife. I 100% go to the neck. I don't go. Uh, yes, uh. you do. I do not yes, grunt you. behind her like an oh animal. Oh my god. You're going to have such a hard time when our heavenly father looks at you in the eyes. Such a hard time. I grab my wife. You're going to have an eternity with Baphomet. I grab my wife in a loving state. I don't go, uh, uh. Damn, yes, you You've literally done it on the show. You do it on Patreon every week. Y'all damn near make Malachi in the middle of the set. I still don't grunt. There was a there was a comment on last week's episode. I love the P. No, it was actually a weird ass comment, and I, I'm sorry. Am I the only one that I love the PDA? Yes, it, it's hot. They said it was hot. Yeah, it's strange. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little strange. We still love you, but I love I love my wife. Sue me. Okay, and then I don't get behind her and pull out a damn a measuring tape, and I go, I could slice this right there. Quick laceration. Pull yes, the left. Yes, you do. But this is what you do when you get Ruby. Whenever you're with Ruby, and I know you can't. That's lie. a different skeleton. You put her. Ruby is this small, animalistic, alien, little hobbit-looking ass dog with bad hips, just like her dad, and and and, so, and seizing problems. But she does seize. Bless her heart. God bless you. Close one knows solve the issue. You put her on her back, right? And you're like, oh, Booby, Ruby, Janelle, all oh, Meredith, Gray, and you're like, and then you grab her and you put your nose right in her ribs and you're like, and you're like, oh, guys, yes! oh, holy shit. He is a liar, liar. You lie in front of God. You don't smell that dog. You don't smell her goddamn rib cage. Oh my God, you don't smell her. And you elongate her to see how much she can go. What am I about to eat her after that? I don't know. That's why I'm I concerned. I put her down. I talk to her. I kiss her little belly. Yes, I kiss it. You I don't have go. never once going like this. Oh yeah. Right on her stomach. No, I haven't. Look at you. You want to talk about me? Clean your chin. There's literal saliva resting on your chin. You don't care when it's your juices on my chin. The shirt is suddenly so heavy and hot. Oh, that sounded even worse that I said that. I meant that I was sweating. Can we talk about that fan interaction we had outside the TJ Maxx? Oh my god, I almost- Cam almost yelled at, a, at an elderly woman okay, with weird earrings. but let us paint- yeah, like, let us paint the picture though. So we're walking around Target and TJ Maxx getting some it's of gonna this- It's gonna be on uh, a vlog. Getting some, some of this decor, right? Yeah, you'll see the very fractional beginning of this interaction. So we're walking from Target to the TJ Maxx. A truck stops. Hey, we love y'all. Oh, what's up, truck? Boom, they go. Someone comes out of the Target. Oh my God, I love y'all. Boom, we love you too. Picture, bam. So now we're going to TJ Maxx, right? We were walking in there, and this mom. She was so cool. She was so dope. A mom and two sons. One, one of them played one for the Green Bay yeah, Packers. One of them's on the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. Not literally, but he was an enormous One of the being. biggest humans I've ever seen. Uh, Two sons and a mom. She's like, ah, I'm totally embarrassing my kids right now, but I absolutely love y'all. Can we take a picture? Bada bing, bada boom. Great energy of this woman. Love her. Fantastic energy. She was hitting a little dance and yeah, everything. She's great. Okay. Tall. So we, unfortunately, she was tall. Unfortunately, we had to, we took the picture right. pretty, pretty close, maybe three, four feet in front of the entrance. And, and to preface it, you could see from a mile away the aura and the energy of everybody right there was happy, giddy. Everybody was excited to be around each Nothing other. Nothing but teeth showing, their smiles, quick little banter. It, by all means, it wasn't a damn meet and greet. No. Like we, she wasn't telling us her life story. She said, "I love you. I'm embarrassing my kids. Can we take a picture? picture?" So we're like, "Oh, we love you too. Don't be embarrassed, kiddos. Let's take some flicks." That simple. Yeah. Whole thing. We're Minute the, tops. And then we go to take the picture. We're taking this picture, and this raggedy ass mean woman walks up with her. The fact that her friend doubled down on what we said shows that yeah. she sucks. Yeah. The first girl sucks. So this woman, she's elderly. I don't know if she's mad at life or what, but don't take it out on me. She walks by and she goes, y'all are in front of the entrance. You're blocking the door. In the middle of us taking a picture. It's like, wait, maybe mm, two seconds. The, and the One, two, the picture's been took. The problem is she didn't just say that. To start, she goes, oops. Yeah. Oops. Oh, you almost, yeah. That's how I was feeling too. I said, oops. And then Cam followed her around the store and threatened her life. I did not. No, don't say that. I didn't do that. Uh, I wanted, I said some things under my breath. I sure did. She definitely heard it. There's no way she didn't hear it. I don't care. I'm glad she heard it. She sucked. Yeah, she did suck. People she that goes, ruin other people's goes, lives. <laughs> Y'all are blocking the door, the entrance. And I literally, I, in, in the moment, I go, yeah, well, we're, we're taking a picture. And then she walks by. And then I whisper to the mom, I'm like, God, that woman was rude. Yeah. Finish the picture taking. Her son jumps in. They leave. Have a blessed day. We walk in the store. And I am like hunting this woman. I'm like, yeah. where is she? She was so damn mean. I just want to 
you know, stare at her. Couldn't find her. You're having one of those things where you go in the shower and you're like, I should have said this. Oh like you play God. the thing over again and you're like, uh, but it's just like, be nice. Be nice. Why? Like, the moral don't ruin story. other people's vibes. Spooky season. Be nice. Come on. The You Should Know Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Fume. Fume. Cold turkey may be great on sandwiches, but dosh darn it, there's a better way to break your bad habits. I think there is. There's a better way to say dosh darn it, too. We're talking about our sponsor, Fume, and they look at the problem in a different way. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong. So instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? And we're not talking about some weird mind voodoo from your crazy neighbor. No, no, no. We're talking about Fume. This right here. Instead of electronics, fume is completely natural. Instead of vapor, fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial that is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting. You know I like uh, you're a fidget. good fidgeter. Giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your bad habits. I like the way it looks, how beautiful Ugh. the wood is and the shape is. I mean, you look cool using it. Stopping is something we all put off because simply it's, it's just hard. Yep. But switching to fume, so easy. Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands upon thousands of success stories. And there's no reason, none, that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use code YSK to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use code YSK to save an additional 10% off your order today. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Do you ever think about this? How is ranch dressing made? Like, who thought of that? Oh, ran uh, ranch, it was this guy named Lawrence. Uh, La How the hell am I supposed to know when ranch is made? <laughs> Did you just ask me that? Like, I was going to sit here and spit out a, a, a valid answer. That's a great question. You ever think about how ranch, how was ranch made? Oh, it was back in West Virginia in the, who do you think I am? That was a shit question. That was a great. No, you ever, you ever. Where did that come? We were talking about TJ Maxx and picture taking and women with bad earrings. I've got hungry. And you go, you ever think about how ranch was made? <laughs> I got hungry. How do you think ranch was made? And it's, it's such a great question. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what, what I. What are you saying? What? We weren't speaking of food at all. No, I'm like saying, who invented food? You know what I'm saying? Like these different, like, are you, you ever like, you ever like having a, a hot dog and being like, who decided to put this meat in the bun and put ketchup on it? You saved America. You know what I mean? Like who thought of that? Okay. That's more valid. Thank that's you. Little, but it's not, it's first off, the hot dog wasn't a thing. Someone had to make the hot dog. That's what I'm saying, dumbass. You said they put this meat on, you know what a hot dog is? It's like goo and they put it in the little wrapping. Yeah. What? Ruined it for you. Hot dogs suck. No, but you know what I'm saying? Like, who made the first honey time, mustard? Yeah. Who's the first one for milk? Age-old question. That's crazy. What sick creep <laughs> walked up to a, a mooing animal and said... I could work with that. Like, what yeah. sick bastard did that? And they were like, we can freeze this and make it ice cream. The you think ice cream came before milk? That's not what you said. That's a Don't strike me. Ooh, my name's Cam. I flex my 17 degrees in my four business administration honors, but I can't fucking listen to save my life. Dumbass, big brain, but I got paper to show that I tried real hard. Listen up. Did they not have a listening degree in the school you went to? Ooh, I spent 18 years at a junior college and I got 12 damn business degrees. We're in the same spot. And I can't comprehend a simple damn sentence. But then I want to get my wife and my best friend on the couch and embarrass them in front of millions when I give them a riddle word problem. <sighs> I'm glad you got that out. That was, that was haunting. You needed to get that out. You, you absolutely needed that to leave you. You know what you need to get rid of? That extra fluid in your hips. My hips have become a literal cornerstone of this podcast. 
It, it is a foundational piece. Happy, happy, happy. Everybody in the comments right if now. Somebody happy. Is, if someone's watching this in your living room chanting hippie and fist pumping, you deserve to be prosecuted. You know Monday we're going to get tagged the Instagram stories of people going, happy, happy. That's bullshit. That's Next merch drop, just a picture of your face. Just a, just a hip bone, and it just says hippie. I'll take it. My no, but penis. back to what? I caught in the zipper. Ooh. Ooh. Did you ever, okay. Zipper on skin? No, okay. When sit on, it, when sit you, on a nut? No. That's awful. You're impressive. That's, no, that's. You're low hangers? Bad. You got good hang. <laughs> nice dip. You're like a, like a sack of gold. Uh, no, that hurts bad. I'm saying when you were learning how to pee, right? Mm hmm Not sure how I did it. <laughs> Probably with the help of your parents. Not sure if I was ever taught properly. Don't know. I remember. Maybe that's why. I do were you ever stands. like? Were you ever that? What? What? <laughs> you ever do? Maybe math? that's why I do handstands and urinals. If you walked into a bathroom and a man was handstanding, pissing at a downward velocity <laughs> into a urinal, what the hell would you do? I'm calling the fire department. I would be. I would kick him over. You little bit. Ah! I'd go. What the? F and just boot him. This is Sparta type shit. No, I'm saying like when you were learning how to. What pee, are you doing? It's in there. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh my God! You smell that? Don't do it. When I went like this, a vacuum of like stench came out. Holy! <gasps> a vacuum of. I don't know rat. what to do anymore <laughs> with your stench problem. You need to go. You need to go under and let a doctor fix you. You like you, if there was an option to walk into a hospital and they go, "What's wrong?" You go, "Multiple things." And they go, "Well, I need some more." And you go, "Here's fifty thousand dollars. Fix me." And you and you literally just go like this, and you just lay down, and you come out, and they're and like, "We couldn't do fixed. shit about half that." <laughs> Now that'd be rough. Oh my god! But I'm saying, when you're learning how to pee, right? Did you experience like experiment different ways to go up to the urinal? Like for like how to get your money out. You know what I mean? Like, did you like how to get your manhood out? So, one of technically one of two ways. What what are the two ways? Short or above the waistband. Okay, but then you experimented. Experiment. So what am I dugging up to? The, I'm like. No, you experiment with different like different panties, right? When you're a kid, right? So you're, you're you you found out what that hole is for, and you're like, I want to utilize that, John. Yeah. But then you got another barrier, which is the zipper. I, I it's looked like Friday the Thirteenth sometimes. I've cut up I've cut up Buddy down there. You've had the zipper lacerations on your penis. Yes, that that taking it out and putting it back in is very. It, that was a daunting time. <laughs> yeah. And then it was a rusher, so you didn't really pull the zipper down all the way, and you get a pinch of the of the nut skin. Ah! Oh God! Oh God! In heaven! I'm not sure either, Siri. Oh. <laughs> okay, but then, and then. No, the skin. I'm thinking. Oh. And then the skin, and it just goes. And, yeah, but I'm a. And then you go. You travel distances, right? You see. Do I get real up close to the potty? I did or that do a I, lot. Yeah. Oh, I definitely had piss Olympics. You 100%. ever peed in your shoes? You peed in your boot on accident? Because you know when the street Someone else pissed in my friend's shoes on purpose. Somebody's pissed in my shoes on purpose too. I got bullied. I had the tail at the time. You didn't stand up for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and then so like you know, you when you're traveling far distances from the urinal, right? And you're a long streamer. <laughs> Come on, dog. Come on, dog. So you're traveling like that. Right? Sorry, this is raunchy. This is not good. This isn't Patreon. <laughs> You're traveling long distance right from the urinal, but you don't calculate that the stream will die. Yeah. And you got to kind of make up for the, the difference. See, I never And it just goes to your trail on the floor. I always did the safe way. I would I'd start close and go further back as much as I could until I realized the stream would then leave the toilet. I played what? it safe. But you I, have to I, eventually I go back up. up. I got super up close. Yeah. Then went back. And as soon as I felt that stream touch that third... I want you to think about this. <laughs> you can simply remove your ball cap. <laughs> and I literally, my train of thought gets absolutely bulldozed by a locomotive. My int everything I was saying just went like this. <clears throat> simply from you removing your cap. Oh, speaking of people making fun of me, right? <coughs> <coughs> you cough like a <laughs> little. <coughs> Please, I hope CJ went on your camera so that people can gif that. <laughs> Please, guys, make a GIF of that. Please. That is pissing me off. Shut up. It's how you say it. GIF? Yeah. That's how you say it. The, the creator said GIF. 
But yes. you look kind of cute. <laughs> you want to finish the episode? You want to take me backstage? That I don't know what. what? No, 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 hell? no, you're no. You said it. Did I or did that come out loud? That was supposed to be my. Head. That's the thing. The people that reject it the most are the ones that are fighting something. No, that's true. And you liking me? No, <laughs> you're going. You fight. No. no. Okay, you're, I get. You're I get way too skinny for me. I get made fun of a, of a, a, a lot. <laughs> I think I turn into a different human in the middle of the night. Like what the hell does that mean? Like I have a. I'm so scared of getting a girlfriend. Because I always like the last time I slept with somebody in the bed and I woke up with them, they they say that I'm like I'm active in my sleep, like in the middle of the night, like I will run errands oh, for them. That's a fact. That's a hundred percent fact. What do you mean? You used to do that shit in JUCO. What? So we're gonna act like you don't remember when you were a British warrior, like a br you literally were like Paul Revere. <laughs> that's the thing. I don't remember it, but I remember you telling Are you me. Being serious, right I now? swear, bro. I turn into a like I I it scares me. <laughs> you, okay. I woke okay. up with a knife in no, my no, bed no. today. <laughs> I swear to God, it was a butcher knife. Bro, but you I, why do you have a butcher knife? You gifted it to me. Well, but I didn't give you a butcher knife. I don't know the size of knives. <laughs> a right, kitchen knife. The butcher biggest knife one. is like. Whoosh, like it was the biggest knife in the catalog. Like, what's not that big? Okay, to hell with the knife. This bastard sitting next to me. Th this man, okay, I'm not going to lie. Back in Juco days, I'd play my game throughout the wee hours yeah. of the night. It was a sick time. I loved it, though. He literally creaks, his door creaks open. What time was it? It was like 2 or 3 in the morning. And you literally, you're talking to me, and I'm like, oh, shit, he's still awake. <laughs> but you were so serious ab about having this accent. And it was so bad. It was so bad. So I thought it was a joke at first. <laughs> You're like, you're like, hey, you still got a light on? I was like, what? He said, you still got a lights on? I was like, what? And I literally was like, I couldn't even give you my full attention. I was like, the fuck? I was like, what did you say? And then I look at you, and your eyes are like glazed. You're like not there. And I'm like, oh. And you're like, bro, you still need, bro. He said, bro, bro, you still need the lights on? I'm like, what is happening? Who are you? What is happening? It scares me too. That shit is not normal. Like I woke up, like, so I was talking to the girl. We woke up in the morning and the first thing she said to me is, Peyton, I really liked the conversation we had last night. I said, I didn't talk to you. I did not speak to you. Oh, that's scary. Oh my God. You're going to be what whispering I sweet nothings, promising the world. And then you wake up and you're just like, get out. Just like, she's like, she's be like, gone. she's like, you go, you go British again, be gone. <laughs> and she's like, she was like, she was get like, your bags and your crystals and fuck off. She was like, you really want three kids? I said, no. You go, <laughs> you just point, you're, you're, you're bamboozled by your own sentences. She's like, when you told me that you were going to get me the Ram truck, you're just like, oh. <laughs> I mean, like throw up on her. Oh my God. No, no that's but, not, that's not okay though. No, it's that so scary. Get you in some trouble. I swear to God on everything I love. I woke up this morning with a knife <laughs> in my bed cam and I don't do drugs. So I don't know what's going on. Like I'm Bro, genuinely scared of me in the nighttime. You're turning into Lolly. You're turning into Liv's mom. What'd she do? I remember she, she, she would like. She would take medicine to help her go to sleep. Yeah. She had restless leg. Yeah. And she woke up one night. She tried to buy courtside Laker tickets in Los Angeles. Another night, she applied to be a cop. She literally contacted the police academy and sent an application. <laughs> like, what? Uh, holy hell. Yeah, and, and, and this girl was like, I'm so sorry to hear about your dog. And I was like, my dog is fine. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Oh. Uh, was it about Dusty? You were speaking about Dusty, maybe? No, it was before Dust. Oh. This is a long time ago. Good old Dust. Yeah. R.I.P. R.I.P. Dust. One. Bro, no, you're sick. You literally turned into Paul Revere. No, the fact that, that I forgot was, about that no, is crazy. That was, that was weird. Like, it left me with a, just a spine-chilling No, feeling. I genuinely, because now I have a fear, like, am I going to cause harm on somebody, like, in the middle of my sleep that I don't, like, because you know I, what I mean? I like, am I going to go- I can't defend you if you do that, because it's I, like, I don't even know if you meant it. Do I go to jail for that? 100%. Really? Yeah. But I wasn't, it's not me. 100%. Am it's I your, your body. <laughs> I hear voices in my head. They don't. They don't. They don't. They talk to me. Oh my they God. tell me things it's that I will do. They show me things I'll do to you. They talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. All the lawyers, all the fish lamps, all the doctors, all the disease, and the preachers, all the sinners, and the police just take the grease.
I squished my nuts. There's so much spit in your mouth. <gasps> you swallowed it. God, I, I, I hate it. you rather me it. spit it out? What stopped you now? <laughs> We're a, we are uh, almost a year and a half in, and you go, would you rather me spit? You spit, uh, our carpet is ruined because of you spit. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah. That looks like a meteorite. That looks like a meteorite hit the carpet. We could sell this carpet. Yeah, we could sell it as a Lord of the Ring uh, uh, map of Middle Earth. Lord of the Rings? Because it's a fantastic you franchise. Loser. And I'm watching it heavily right now. I know. I want to kind of watch it. Speaking of Liv's mom, I don't know why this popped in my okay, head. I love Liv's mom. The shit that happened this weekend, this past weekend. Oh, she's great. She came to visit us this weekend. She did come to visit. That's on Patreon dropping Monday. I, well, out now. Oh, I didn't know we filmed it. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, it's out. The Golden Girls. Episode. Oh, the go The Tim. Oh. <laughs> Cool myself. Oh, I can't breathe. What the fuck are you doing? I went one level too high. Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay. What happened? Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro. Oh, my there God. There was so much, like, 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 like thick spit in the throat. Because you swallowed it. <laughs> you, I told you not to swallow your spit. You literally said, oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Uh, holy shit. Holy shit. Holy I really want to watch that back. Oh my god, I want to watch that. That was so real bad. panic. Oh. 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 All right. Oh, shut up. No, I am dead ass. We have to I get am, back. We have to oh, get back. Bro. Oh, bro. What was that? <laughs> Literally. He <laughs> went. He went. He said, oh yeah, the go. Uh, <coughs> I taste blood in my mouth. Oh. 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 I choked on a lifesaver one time. Oh. oh. The scariest moment in my life. It was in the back of my Ford, in my dad's Ford Explorer, all black. I choked on Cheez Its. Yeah. That was the scariest moment of my life. Good to chew. Huh? Is choking irresponsible? It is a little bit, honestly. I had 17 Cheez Its in my mouth at once. That's a, you have a thick I tried mouth. To chew, I tried to chew all of them. One of them didn't. Oh, I have a good question. I just laughed so hard. My brain is asking for oxygen. <sighs> I, have oh, a, I have a good question. No, I'm no please, no, please. I'm no, talking. I got a question. I have a story, though. Okay, we'll get, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. I have a question. How do you chew? What does that mean? <laughs> you look dead. What <laughs> did I, dude, I'm fucking, I am fighting. <laughs> How do you chew? No, no, no. How do you chew? Like, do you call Molars. <laughs> like, next? You think people out here chew with their front teeth? Yes. Do you? That's what I'm saying. Do you consciously? Do, do, do you consciously chew? If you have to consciously think about chewing, I would think that you were in an accident. <laughs> like you, I like I on, honestly, God. If you have to think about you chewing, I think you're relearning life. Because there's no way. No one thinks about chewing. You I just wait, wait, wait. Mouth, you no, go. no, I'm dead ass. You don't think about how you chew. You think about chewing. You don't like divide and conquer. <laughs> Divi All right, Genghis. No, I don't, Alexander the Great. I just chew the corn stick. The corn dog. Corn dog. 
<laughs> corn dog, mozzarella stick, they they fuse. You know what I'm saying? So you're not like, I'm going to start oh. off on the right side, then move it to the left. Or is that no. just a natural flow of progression? It's just, it, bro, progression, digression. No, I literally anything. go, I go, I, I am very conscious where I put it in my mouth. I am fucked. I start it in the back, in like my mid tongue section. And then oh, I break it off. And then I go a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. And I finish in the front and then bring it with my tongue and swallow it to the back. Every time I chew the same exact way. You could hand me some the softest thing on earth and a brick, and it's going to my molars. Wow. So these front four don't have any action. Just beauty. Wow. <laughs> I go, just beauty. Do you think about your tongue when you chew? No. I but promise it will mess you up. Sucks. It will mess you up if you think about your tongue when you chew. You'll get all discombobulated. It, it does make me wonder, like, how can I fit so much food in my mouth? You can fit a lot in your mouth. <laughs> get it? Yeah, I get it. Enough f f tongue food shit. Yeah, tell me the story about the Golden Girls. Bro. <laughs> Dude, it feels like the bug's life is, they're shooting in my head right now. They are. Oh, there's something mm -hmm. shooting in your head. That, that, what does that mean? I don't know. Be careful? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right, what, what's your story? So. I gotta stop that. What's your story? Dude, my story. You take so long to say everything. You interrupted me. Be a me. little entertaining, huh? God, he, oh my God, he <laughs> hey. knows that. Hey, I'll, I'll give you like a entertainment one on one book. It step one, don't be like how you're being. Oh my god, go ahead, dude. I'm about to grab your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Tell, tell All right, us. the story. Let's see how long you we last. Nice? Let's you see how long we last, guys. I don't even want to say it. I don't want to say it. He's being mean. I don't want to say it. <gasps> okay, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. You're great. You're very riveting. Somebody asked. Some, I don't tell stories did, did too read, long. Did I you know. read the comment in the last? The YouTube. What is it? They said, I'm surprised Peyton didn't cut more of Cam's story out so long. <laughs> I don't edit it anymore. I suck. <laughs> no, it's okay. No, People I love suck. you. They love me for me, not my storytelling. Yeah, we all have our strengths. Anyway, the story. Because okay. this shit is funny. I don't care how yeah, long yeah, it yeah. takes. I'll keep it short. So, before you... What was, how, what was the weather outside? <laughs> Which I'll drive up. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm being honest. Before you pulled up... Two unbelievable things happen from the same line of lineage. Okay. First, we're sitting there. We're in a bar, okay? Just a regular ass bar. Yeah. Me, Liv, Liv's mom, yep. Chrissy P, Lolly, whatever you want to call Lolly. it, and Aaron. You will be introduced Shout to her to uh, right now. It's Patreon. out on Patreon, okay? The four, don't do that. You're gonna swallow again and die. Four of us are sitting at a bar. Yep. Okay. We're sitting there, just waiting on you. We got our first round of drinks in. Out of nowhere. Literally middle of the conversation, Olivia's mom, yeah. Chrissy P, just whips out an ibuprofen bottle. In the ibuprofen middle of the bottle. Whatever you want to say. <laughs> ibuprofen bottle, okay? Yeah. Uncaps it. Nice. <laughs> lines the table with pills. How many different pills were in this bottle? That's right. They there come was, like at a 24 pack. Oh, no, no. There was different sizes, colors, also an assortment of pills in this bottle. I said, what the hell is that? She goes, my travel bottle. I go, your travel bottle. That might be a felony. I said, that's like 10, that looks like a, my grandma taking her vitamins. That's 10 different yeah. things right there. And she goes, I need one of those, two of them. Uh -uh. Takes off the table, takes them, pops them like mini m and How does she know which one is which? That's my, that's my point, okay? This is all within 20 minutes. Okay. She does that. Okay. Closes the bottle and goes, yeah, but when we were at the cabin, I said, no, oh, yeah. what just happened? What the hell is that? She goes, oh, it's completely normal. I go, it's completely not. It's completely but, illegal. Okay, so that's the mom. Yes. The offspring, Olivia, Your wife. who I'm married to, it's like, it's just freak genetics, okay? I, I don't understand it. Another middle of the conversation. We're all just talking. No one's on their phones. She literally doesn't wash her hands, doesn't use hand sanitizer, doesn't go to the bathroom. Okay. In the middle of the conversation. She's like, no, but Cameron used to do this, and then he, uh... Oh, no! Grabs her contact! I know that was salty. With her sticky little cute fingers, grabs her contact out of her eyes. Puts them where? She puts those where? On the table. On the bar? On the table, in the bar. Peyton, she doesn't get up. She doesn't... Fr I don't even know what you do for contacts. I don't have them. She doesn't freshen them up. She doesn't wash her hands. Just keeps talking. And the worst part is, she's blind as a bat without her contact. <laughs> so I am, I am sitting there literally bamboozled. Like, you just popped God, God knows, knows what, what that was. You're going to be blind for the rest of the night, didn't wash your hands, and just grabbed your contact straight out of your eyes. Yeah. In the middle of a bar scene. 
Like, and, but it, it was so... That might be the sickest family trip I've ever so seen. It was so nonchalant. Like, they both did it. Like, that shit was just regular. You no, know, it's not. And I was itching. That's your family. I married into a, a clan of just... Mm. I think that's Love what, them both, though. But I think that's what you like. I think you like chaos around you. Everybody around like you is chaos. chaotic. So you're chaotic? Yes. No, I think that's you. the premise of the show. Thank you. you are, you're very chaotic. And if you would have said, oh, my God, if you would have said no, we would have had a fight for the ages. I mean, you definitely boost it up more than it is. If it was as bad as you say it is and as everybody says it is, I, uh, they wouldn't watch. You wouldn't be my friend. You know what I hate about you? What? Is following you. You're a shit lead driver. I, a horrible lead driver. I really, that's my, up here. You know. It's so bad. I just want to say I that. See, I see. Oh, you know. Sorry. I see a gap. I take it. You're done. You're done. Or, or you're, and then, or it's either that, like you'll, you, you, you break me off in traffic or. I don't mean to though. Or you're slow as a donkey piss. And I know why I'm not going to say for legal reasons, but I know why you're slow as hell when you drive. No. Yeah. No. All right, bro, we're not doing the podcast. I'll end this podcast right now. I'll end the podcast right now. Okay, I do that. But okay! Not, but not. that's not why I'm slow. Yes, it is. I'm often faster than you in the car. Never. Never have you ever All been. right, you Formula One driver. Re relax, Jeff Gordon. It's, I'm just saying, uh, mechanically, your car cannot go as fast as mine. <laughs> Big bank takes little bank. Strikes again. <laughs> Mark the time Oh, stamp. speaking since... since <laughs> you. Sorry. You, you need, like, a finger and foot fix, like... Surgery. That does look a little. You look gross. Something else I don't like about you. Jesus. I, Relax. I hate when you answer the phone around me. What do I do when I am? What do you? What? Y'all hear Cam's normal voice when he answers the phone? It's like oh this. Oh my god. Hey, what's up? Hey man, what's going on? Who are you? That's not you. You didn't reach that level of. Humanity. I don't know who they are, so they don't get anything vulnerable or personal of mine. You do that to friends, Cam. No, no, I Especially do not. Especially if you haven't talked to them in a long, a long time. If one of our like they forgot me. If our college friends would call you, you'd be like, "Hey, what up?" That's not you. Are you? Ask put Olivia. Call something. Olivia. Call Olivia. Call Olivia. Put that on something. I put that on the podcast's IP. I don't do that with friends. Call Olivia. I do it with. I'll call her. I do it with random people. A random phone number that calls me does not get to hear my actual voice. I'm already dialing. Okay. Put on speaker and put it right here. Hello? Hey, babe. You're on the I, podcast I'm right now. I'm dialing in right now. You're on the podcast straight from your car, wherever you are. Hope you're being safe. We have one quick question, okay? When I answer the phone, do I deepen my voice? Yes. Thank you, Liv! Okay. I agreed to that, too. This is the BS part. Peyton said that I deepen my voice to my own friend's phone calls. Yes or no? Yes. No, Thank I don't! You. Thank you, Liv. Be safe driving. Love ya. Uh, is Cameron? Yes! Be safe. <laughs> Thank you. I Cam, don't... It, it goes into the kind of music you listen to. It goes oh, into okay. the people you hang around. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm the token. No, I don't. I do that. I will 100% admit. If I don't know you, you don't get to know me. You don't get anything vulnerable, personal. You're a public figure. You if, are famous. If so, and exact, if someone calls my phone, you don't get to know if this is my real phone or not. So I'm gonna hit you with the hello. You go, hey, this is Cam. Yeah, hey, how's it going? I go, no, it's no, Cam. This, I go, this isn't, this isn't Cam. All right, have a good one. They go, it is you. <laughs> literally, on. literally, a friend from college called you in the studio, and I was like, I thought you were my friend, my cousin Tyrone. I was like, who? Is oh, Ty Tyrone free? He here? I thought it was you or him. It's that bad. You like, hey, man, what's up, man? Hey, bro. Hey, man. Hey, keep it trill, dog. Keep, keep it trill. I'm DJ Screw, R.I.P. Pimp C. I, I chop and screw my voice. No, literally, Cam was on the phone like this. I'm on the walk. Cam, Cam ordered Domino's in my apartment one time, and he was like, and the, the Domino's couldn't get up to the apartment, and they were like, hey, we can't make it up to your apartment, and he was like, hey, man, I ain't worried about that shit, dog. I'll come down, fuck with you. All right, bro. <sighs> Oh, oh God, you ain't got to use that elevator, dog. I'm going to be there about two I'm minutes. Not sure you can do it. I'm not sure you can do it. I can't have fun. I'm not allowed to have fun in this life. I can't have fun. You can do whatever you want. No repercussions. As soon as I do it, you be careful. The You Should Know Podcast. We're brought to you today by Manscaped, Woo! who has taken a step up from Balloween Ooh. to bring your face the cleanest shave it's ever seen. Oh, I love that. So, this season, no need to toil in trouble. Manscaped's all-new Handyman is the best way to get rid of that stubble. I think so. 
It may be spooky season, but you don't want to scare people with a scraggly beard. Give them something to look at with Manscaped's Handyman. <laughs> Cam, are you tired of a bad razor making your neck look like you got all scratched up in a scary movie? Oh, it sucks. With the Handyman Skin Safe technology to help reduce nicks and cuts, you can finally feel confident when going for that close shave for wet or dry use feel free to bring this anywhere and everywhere yep the compact design and airplane friendliness makes this a perfect i mean perfect travel tool for on the go and being able to shave up to three days growth without a mess of a wet shave is priceless it is there's no trick with this streak manscaped has you covered so get 20 percent off and free shipping with the code psh at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code PSH. For a look as sweet as candy, get yourself the handyman from Manscaped. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. So I've been house hunting, right? I've been looking for a house to live in. Oh my God. I've been in for three months. Your realtor's ass. <laughs> but I found a house in the front, bro. So many plants, the garden in the front. They have a garden. There wasn't a garden in the front. How could you tell me what my future house looks like? Because gardens aren't in the front. Gardens aren't in the front. Garden? A garden? A garden? What are you not a master at? You know about every food, drink, beverage in the world, and now you're a garden expert. Gardens aren't in the front. Says who? Again, everyone. A, a garden. A flower might be in the front. A bush or a plant. A garden. Den of gar. Backyard. Oh, so when you get the homeowners association pamphlet that says no front gardens, huh? I can't even have a basketball goal in my front yard. You think I can have a garden? Yes. Okay, you think flower equals garden. That's no garden, Bubba. Oh, what's a garden then, huh? A real garden with plants, vegetables. There you go. There you added stipulations. Fruit. Real garden. That's a garden. If I you, put, your shit was just flowers. The, if I put some damn mulch down and put a seed in there, that John is a garden because I'm saying it is. I'm growing earth in my front yard. Okay, real gardens have shit you can eat and consume. You so can eat plants. Can you not eat a plant? All right, you 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 apothecary. What are you picking, brew, brewing shit up, you witch? Oh, so- With your little cauldron. If you had a garden in your front yard, someone could literally just stop their Jeep, hop out, take a carrot, tricks it for kids, and drive off. So you're That's saying- That's why it's in the back. Oh, so you're saying that you can have a garden in the front for theft. That's why? You leave your car in your front yard, don't you? Guess what? It's not a car anymore because it's in the front. So if I park my car in the back, what is that now? A bike? Garden, gardens don't have anti-theft systems in them, dumbass. You ever heard of ADT? That's not for a garden. Put some lasers out there if you want. I don't give a shit. Your car literally has sensory mode on it. It turns into a sensory. It'll harm someone. Your car will scream. In like a in a deep low tone voice, if someone gets next to it, a garden is vulnerable and precious. Someone so, could literally steal cucumber and run. Oh, so if I'm not making ingredients for a salad in my front yard, that means it's not a garden. Correct. It's flowers. So it's if, flowers, bushes, plants. There's not a garden. Oh shit! So there's not a flower garden. There's no such thing as the, the flower botanical garden. Huge industrial ones in the front of a house. It's not a garden. It's about the motion of the ocean, Cam. It's not about the size of the river. It's not a garden if it's in the front okay. of a HOA home okay. in a neighborhood. Okay. There has never been a garden Were in you a local residential neighborhood that has a homeowners association in the front yard ever. Were you, were you at my you house tour? Even, you were you at my house tour with my realtor? Were you? No. Did you see the garden? No. Okay. I'm telling you, gardens are in the back. You didn't learn that when you were getting your 17 degrees, did you? You went to gardening 101. You went to a 300 person. You didn't go to shit. That's harmful. I'm sorry. Gardens are in the back, buddy. No, this? they're not. No, it's not. This? No, it's not. This? No, front, it's not. Front yard. Front yard, pretty. Look good. People, street view. Backyard, vulnerable, sensitive. Real stuff. So I couldn't open your back gate and go grab a damn tomato if I wanted to. You could. Oh. Steal theft. It's... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What Thank you. Thank you. What point are you thanking? Because you, you said... Creep. Because it's, because there's thieves. Not just for thieves. That's, that's not the, the only thing you said, stupid that's idiot. That's the first thing I said, just stupid Just because I can't make idiot. a romaine salad out of my garden in the front? See, you suck. What You're kind a of a dumbass. What kind of a garden would just be lettuce? You suck. See... 
are you the damn garden police? Are you an idiot? Are you part of the, the Garden Watchers of America I, society? Matter, as a matter of fact, I am. Yeah, you have nothing else to do with your time, hippie. Get a job. Go get a garden in your backyard. My house does have a garden. No. Oh, you live there? No. Huh. <laughs> but I'm trying. <laughs> Doesn't come with a garden in the front. Flowers, bushes, at best shrubs. What's your backyard look Shrubbery. like? Vacant. Oh, there is one though? No, I have a back patio though. Concrete. So do I. No, you don't. That's a side patio. That's not in your back. You don't even have a front and back. You don't even have a front and back. There's not a back door in my apartment. A back door. There's not a back door with a back patio. A back There's door. There's not a back door and a back patio in my apartment. <gasps> There's a patio. <gasps> Who said it's a back patio? Well, you know where the front door is, right? Yeah, it's yeah, it's parallel Shut to the, the front. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You, know the, you know the front it's door. It's back. Okay. It's back. Yeah. Oh, what do you know? 17 degrees. And I'm wrong about everything. Oh, they didn't teach me that in business marketing 101. Wait, how quick would it be for you to run to your front to back door? <laughs> Let's go bad for bad. <laughs> Wait, you mean to tell me you could do two consecutive lunges and touch the front door to the back door? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to go? Yeah, let's bad for bad. You, want to go? you go, what time is it? <laughs> oh, it's crazy because we actually have paved roads on the way to my apartment. Yours is made for horseback and settlers. <laughs> okay. You live off the Oregon Trail. <laughs> no, they're constructing that highway, making it bigger. Where you live, it doesn't pop up on my Tesla car map. Hmm, that's not a real place. <laughs> so, you live in Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make a joke, but you were so happy. <laughs> See, that he, he gets happy when he destroys me. <laughs> I do it for sport. You physically get enjoyment and joy when you make me feel bad. There's some blood flowing right now. See, that's sick, bro. You tyrant. That's sick. Careful. I don't know what that means. I was about to hit you with the Miriam Webster, but you were going to make fun of me that? Yeah, because think of some new jokes. It's been a year and a half. Get a degree. Why? So we can still have the same job? No, just so you can be accredited. Well, I don't know what that means. Accredited for what? What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh I have my, my God. GED. What are you... What are you... <laughs> what? What? What do you do in a car if you have to pick a booger? What? <laughs> what do you do if you have to pick a booger in a I car? I don't talk about bugs. I don't do that. I don't talk about boogers. Booger. Bo stop, Cam. Booger, Bo snot, sneeze. Stop, 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 stop. Sneeze, I, nostril, snot, as, mucus, booger. As gross as people think I am, something with boogers, bro, shuts me down. Like, I, 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 I can't do it. So you don't ever pick a booger? You never, don't sneeze? Never. I sneeze. Booger, snot, mucus. No, but I sneeze in private, too. Like, I'm not a public sneezer. Like, that's just, it's unfortunate for everybody around you. Like, that's so gross. Like, boogers is gross. What does that come from? Please stop. I don't want to hear the the, 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 the evolution and, and evaporation and condensation of boogers. I don't want to hear it. Please stop. Cam, oh my God. No, Cam is nasty as shit. He picks his nose. No, I do snot rockets right in front of you on paper towels. What do you do whenever you have a booger in the car? I pick it. I unroll my, my window. Oh my God. I hold it outside to where the air hits it, cold, fresh oh! air hits it. It crustifications and then I flick it into the evanescence. Oh my God, Cameron. Do you sanitize after? Yeah, I have hand sanitizer in the car. I said that to catch you in a lie. I have hand sanitizer in my car. I said that to catch you in a lie. You look like a Disney Channel villain. You look <laughs> insane. You look like a liar. Hey. You look absolutely insane. Hey, God, forgive him for lying. I, I didn't have hand sanitizer in my Honda Pilot the entire time I drove it. Watch this. I didn't have hand sanitizer. Watch this. Oh. Hey, if you used it, it wouldn't have been there since 2007. Huh? You had that same hand sanitizer in your car two from years. the d I had it for two years. God, we are going to find a church for you to repent. You don't know how, do you want to know oh, exactly my. how I know I had it for two years? Yeah, tell me how you're lying. Or three, three years. Tell me. Three tell years. Me. Three tell years. Me. Tell me. Tell me. My father, okay, it was a UPS hand sanitizer. It was. Okay? okay. When they gave out tons of them. Okay. During COVID! So he gave me the bottle. What year was COVID? 
2020. What year are we in now? 2023. Okay. When did I get rid of Rhonda? 2023. Okay. Three years max. Okay. Same hand sanitizer for three years. Watch this. You are on record publicly stating that I had it since the conception of Rhonda. I've had it since COVID. Okay. 2020 to 2023. Right. This is going to test our friendship right now. I'm not even going to look at you because your lying and deception you makes me itch. Yes or no, Cam? Yes or no? Did you have that hand sanitizer in your car where the cup holders are at when I first met you? No. No, I did not. No, I did not. Could there have been another hand sanitizer? Yes. The UPS specific it one. It's gonna burn! The UPS specific one. Get your hand off your genitalia. That specific hand sanitizer. Okay. Was given to me. Was it from UPS? Yes. Then I just said that, it, dumbass. Okay, listen, stupid ass. Hey, idiot. hey, remember that red shirt I had on? You go, was it red? Like you, like you gained <laughs> any listen, points. Listen, dumbass. Listen, dumbass. Listen, dumbass. Oh, this is how I know. It's because not too long ago, when I was in Ronda Civic, put your cap on. What, you put your fuck. Put your put your put a cross on your neck. You're a liar. <laughs> You know how I know it's been in there recently? It's the same one because it was always at the same levels and it was so old and there's so much heat compression on it that it was like getting weird in there. You know what I'm talking about. It was yeah. looking weird in there. Yeah. And I used it literally like a year ago. It's weird because that fits my time frame. 2020 to 2023. A year ago would be 2022. It's the same one, dude. You're pissing like honestly. It is the same one. No podcast shit. You're pissing me off. It is, I'm not it's telling the same the truth. one. Turn the cameras off. I swear to God. It's the same one. Yes, it's from the same. 2020. No, it's the same one from whenever I met you, dumbass. It never moved. It never moved. Do you think? And it okay. So the levels there was it was never filled. It was never full. You used that much hand sanitizer, okay. Howie Mandel. Okay. <laughs> what do you have against Howie? He's a germaphobe. To better my point. You started this argument saying I am disgusting. You're going to spend an eternity in the underworld. <laughs> I hope you know that, and I hope you pray. But go ahead. You started this point claiming I'm disgusting. Yeah. Correct. If I'm so disgusting prior to COVID, why would I have hand sanitizer in my because car? Because it was gifted to you, and probably Miss Lisa put it in there. Oh. Why and say it was your choice to put that in there? I, spend more time with the other side of your family. I've, I chose to put that in there. Once it was gifted, when my dad brought so home. So what did he say to you when he gave it to you? He didn't even say anything. He, he said, <gasps> he didn't, were you fucking there? Were you there? You were in my bedroom, creeping in the, in the closet, behind garments, just listening to my conversation with my parents? So you just said there was no conversation. Exactly. You so was it a conversation or not? There was not a conversation. Then why'd you just say listening to the conversation? Because you're like, oh, that's a lie. Oh, that's a lie. Then why'd you, you say it? Then why'd you say You weren't there. Why'd you say listening to the conversation is there's no conversation? Because my anger is getting over myself. It's getting the better because of Because it's hard to keep up with a lie. It is not hard to keep up of the truth. You only have to tell the truth once. You're not letting me say it. I my literally dad, just talked to you. My dad, I was here. My dad walked in with a box, a literal box, of like 12 of these USP... USP. It's not a place. <laughs> of the 12 of these USP... <laughs> God, he's dyslexic. See how, see how confronted you get whenever you're... When you're when, <laughs> see how frazzled you get when you lie? My dad walked in one night, very night, brisk night, maybe 76 degrees oh, outside. Fun camp stories, here we go. Everybody get your blanket. <laughs> he walked in, both shoes untied. <laughs> Walked in with a singular box okay. of around 10 to 12. I don't know how many are in the box. Okay. All of them are plastic wrapped. They're all closed. Okay. He sets them on our table. Yeah. You know the table I'm talking about. Yeah. Not the kitchen table, nah. the dining room table, the one before. Yeah. They sat there for a while. Okay. COVID's going around. Yep. So I say, you know what? I want one for my car. I want to try to be more clean. The world has gone to shit. I need a hand sanitizer. Then what about the one whenever you were in college that I, uh, I used? There was never one in there? There wasn't one in college, Cameron. I just said, <laughs> oh, oh my God. Why are you talking about when the world oh, is shit? Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm talking God. about the original one. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm talking about the original one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. You just said it's hard to keep up with a lie. And he is the one tripping over the line of deceit. Everyone rewind the clip. Every single one of you rewind this clip. I physically said, 
there could have been a different one. The whole thing we have been arguing right now is I had that UPS one since 2020. Your <laughs> eyes are so glossy from tears. And you just said that you used one in there and you were about to question me, how did you use that one? Ergo, meaning what, what I'm saying is He's trying to I confuse me Because you're lying I'm not fucking lying It was a UPS one When I was 18 years old In the car When we were in fucking Johnny, Oklahoma You're sick Yeah, you're a liar No, you're gonna spend You are gonna spend a long time With a pickaxe on the mountain of doom <laughs> You are gonna spend Oh, oh, ever so long Gasping for clean air. I need food. The fact it's so hot. The fact, the fact that you've you. convinced yourself to lie, and and be confident in it, you're dece- and you're gonna go gamble later. You're going to go. <laughs> you're gonna be there with me. We're both got first class. We're gonna be holding each other's hands. Okay. Oh well, my god. Let's try to. Let's, you're a sick. Freak. Let's try to. Let's try to make up for it, right? And help some people's lives out, right? Oh. So new segment. Uh oh. New segment. New segment. <laughs> Dr. P, 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 Dr. P. All right. So if you're an OG fan of the You Should Know podcast, more specifically our TikTok lives. TikTok lives. Oh, my God, the good days. Those are great days. We need to do those again. We need to. I mm. just, it's just too many people now. It used to be a small-knit community. It used to be Where's very, Apollo? It used to be, where is Apollo? Apollo fled. And Queso Sweet. God, I miss all those I miss OGs. Apollo. And Nadia. Oh, God, I miss all of them. OGs, if you're still watching, I miss you and I love you. But um, thank you for being day ones when that, those live streams had 65 watchers and they were gifting like crazy. Apollo. Apollo's just Apollo, t- you're, top tier, top of the mountain. Apollo, you are paying for a majority of my meals back then, so I, I appreciate you, dog. Oh, my God, he has to come to our show in New York. He lives in Maryland. Is that He's far? DC. Yeah. Is he? Is that far? Uh, I mean, like a, couple, like a state or two over, a couple states. We can over. get you a ticket, not plane or uh, hotel. It's a little too late, Apollo. Sorry. <laughs> um, but Dr. P. So if you remember in those TikTok lives, Dr. P, the best love doctor in the country, best love doctor in the country. With his, Y'all with, would submit problems to this man right here. He would very often pull his small shorts up as high as he could, tuck his shirt in, sometimes have a clipboard, and he would absolutely just fix your little broken hearts. So, we recently asked to bring back Dr. P stories. We put it on our Instagram and said, send in, send in your Dr. P segment. And Cam is the best love secretary in the world, so he is going to I gotta make sure nothing crazy pops up in these screenshots. Okay, um, here we go. You're going to read them to me. Okay, so as simple as this is, we have a couple submitted ones that Hold are on. screenshotted. Get sexy, it's Dr. P. Dr. P is getting ready. Dr. P. Here we go. All right, let First me know. one. Yes, yeah, go. Coming from a young lad. Okay. I got broken up with and left for someone new three days after. Oh, my God. How do I get over that? Literally 72 hours after his heart was shattered, spit on, she was with a new man. Hey. That's some sick work. This is the thing about Dr. P. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. And and that's why he's the, the best love doctor in the nation. She's been with that guy. Oh. They've been together. No, 100%. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say your name for you, but you know who we're talking to right now who submitted this. They're g- I, I'm not the doctor. He's the doctor, but as a secretary, I've spent a lot of time around this man. They were 100% were in communication. Oh, my God. Bare minimum communication. They were getting nasty There could have been physicals. There could have been physicals, switched and swapped yes. and spit on, but I don't... Something was. Yeah, it's uh, um, 100% not new thing. Don't no, let her lie to you. No, no. It'd be like, oh, it's just timing. It happened. No, it didn't. They were definitely like... She was praying on your downfall. There was definitely... And this is... Dr. P is a master of this. When there's a girl I like, but she might be in a situation, what you got to do is plant the seed. Oh. I used to tell Cam all this all the time. I'm about to be like, I'm going to go plant the seed. Yeah, you're what good you, gardener. Garden in the back. What, what you do is you got a nice conversation. Garden's in the front. In the what back. you do have uh, you just go to a normal conversation. You're not trying to flirt, not trying to do anything. But once that conversation gets to, you're in a good rhythmic state, your hips are both going back and forth. Be careful, hips. Your hips are going back and forth. You plant that seed. You give him one little inkling of, oh my God, was that a little flirt? But then you don't double down on it. Yeah, you don't even make it seem known. That's what he did to your girl. I'm sorry, bro. I'm so sorry. I can't say your name. I hope you get over but, it. Hey, honestly, just go just go boss up. Just focus that, on yourself. Exactly. This is what Dr. P does. He gives you ways to get over it. 
you delete her from everything out of your mind. Out of, you, you block her on everything. Ask her to block you on everything so you can't see her stuff. Out of sight, out of mind. Then go heal yourself. Don't go find another love mate. Yeah. Heal yourself. Be the best you you could be. And thank God that he took her out of your life. Fantastic submission. So sorry. You'll get over it. We always do. Next one. Something does not smell fresh on this set. Here we go. Okay. What should I do if my girlfriend talks to her boy best friend way more than she talks to me? Oh, let me cook. Let me cook. Oh. Oh, that's rough. That's very, that's hard. That's hard to hear. Doc, <sighs> what are we thinking, Doc? Oh, my God. Now. Pray for this young man. Let me, let me be completely honest with you. Oh, no. That's crazy. More than you? That's sick work. Like, I would have an answer. Like, I could give you, like, some, like, daylight. If it was like he talks to him a lot and it makes me uncomfortable, but you're solidifying that there's more time more. spent. Yeah, that's like if I spoke to another girl more than Liv. Just think about that being put out there. Like that's impossible. That's that's rough. That's impossible. I'm hoping that they're young, like kids. I can't tell. But so this is why I, I hate to be pessimistic, but Dr. P, what does he do? Keeps it real. And I do the best job at this. I'm the best love doctor in the country. He wants that Swedish muffin. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. He wants a piece of that piece of that cheesecake factory. You know what I mean? He wants he wants a little taste test of that Danish. He wants to he wants to go wrangle that bison. He wants that mozzarella stick. If you know if if you're getting if you're picking up what we're putting down, come on. He he, he wants to go get ten piece McNuggets with her. At, oh, on a late he doesn't want night. a small fry. He wants a basket of fries. He wants the whole dish. You know what I mean? He Let wants me that tell sweet you. And sour. And your girl, I hope she's not gaslighting you to be like, why would you think that we yeah. grew up together? He's literally been my friend before we were dating. And there's always, That's a, fine. There's always a test, right? Oof. Do this. There's always a test. Be like, all right, call him. call him right now and flirt with him and see what he does. And she doesn't do that. She knows. She knows that he wants a piece of that good old, that good old, that good old, yeah. that good old beef stew. Yeah, he wants, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He wants a piece of that good old, good old strawberry shortcake. There we go. That's yeah. a little bit of that old apple crumble pie. Oh, he wants a little bit of that 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 sherbet. He wants a little bit of that. <laughs> a little bit of that bluebell cookie two step. Yeah. No, she's gone, dog. No, yeah, she's out. There's of gonna equation. be a time where they kiss. It's inevitable. <laughs> Probably gonna be in front of you. <laughs> hey, that's a hell of a test, though. I never thought about that. Oh, isn't it crazy that you could literally be like, "Hey, call him right now." Put it on speaker, act like I'm not here. I want to hear what he says. Yeah. And if she folds and she says no, she knows. So that silence would be deafening. But you know what she's going to do? She's going to be like, you're so insecure. Yeah. You're, you're, so, you're really going to make me... Honestly, if you make me call him, then we're done. Yeah. She's going to try to put it on you, that manipulating son of a... And then what you do is you be like, I knew it. <laughs> I'm not just kidding. Don't do that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Do not do that. It was a joke. It was a joke. Phone's locked. One more. Let me read this one. Can I read one? Dr. P doesn't read, but... Okay. I <laughs> Keep it, TJ. <laughs> I know it's not fresh down there. <laughs> I busted my lip. <laughs> this one's long. <laughs> I genuinely haven't read this one. Dr. P, here we go. Dear Dr. P, hello. I've been single for all 20 years of... <laughs> Hey, there's not a problem with that. It's not. I there's just was caught off guard. I didn't read there's this one. There's not a problem with that. There's not. There's genuinely not. Yeah. I wish I was single all 24 years of my life. 24? I thought it was 20. <laughs> she said 20. I'm just saying. Come on. Oh, okay, okay. That's it. Damn, that's a different. <laughs> so that's not. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, stop. sorry. Be nice, be nice. Can we keep that? Yeah. Okay. We 20, know 20 is fine. It's Dr. P. I it's damn near was single for 20 years. Like That's a fact. Like <laughs> Until. I mean, you, until you had a high school sleepover. Until. Yeah. That's rough. That was very. God, that was a historic night. Go! No, stop. It's like the shooting guard, the point guard, someone on the JV <laughs> fullback, the pitcher. No, just kidding. Fuck it, eh? All right, here we go. Dear Dr. P, hello. I've been single for all 20 years of my life, which is completely fine. The one time I had a relationship, it lasted a month because Ooh. he was in love with his best friend. I always get into situationships and they never go past the talking stage. I start getting to a point where I think I am the problem, but my best no, no, no. friend always reminds me of my value. What should I do? I'm extremely socially awkward, just like you, Pate. All right. And I just don't like people most of the time. P.S. 
the You Should Know podcast. P.S. The You Should Know fam, I love you all and have been the highlight. I I, I dropped out of school. Are you really struggling to read that over there? My God. Listen. All right, Dr. B, I'm not reading the rest of that. I can't. Jesus. It was so embarrassing. Basically, thank you for the, the happy ending. I'm going to cut straight to it. Secretary's going to take his, his dip in the Be pool. Careful, a little bit. I will fire you and hit you. At least you know it was a situation ship. And honestly, I just think you're looking in the wrong pond. She's, look, she's fishing for the wrong fish. You're That's fishing it. for the wrong fish. She's fishing for the wrong fish. If, you, if he's in love with his best friend, he, y'all were never anything. No. Like, he was just trying to do you know what. And I'm glad. I mean, I don't know if, if that happened, if not, but I'm glad it only lasted for a month and he didn't just drag you along longer. But you're fishing for the wrong fish. And I want to say this you're not the problem. Well, yeah, you are. Exactly. You actually, she might be. We don't know her. I mean, it's very true. We don't. She but could be the problem. This takes. This is where you Hell, take. She probably is for a little bit of it. I mean, because if you're, to a certain extent, you got to be responsible for the people you're going after. Exactly. If it, if it was true, just everybody else. If it was true ignorance, and you were just blinded, and he put up a, a damn a Leonardo DiCaprio act. Yeah. Then that's one thing. But if you, I mean, she did state it has been multiple, multiple situations, situations, and it doesn't get past that. It's like you're fishing for the wrong this fish. This is where Doctor P says, "Hold yourself responsible. Always take accountability. Hundred percent. You look at yourself in the mirror and be like." What am I? Don't change who you are. Just what am I doing? Change what you're giving out. You know what I mean? Look externally, internally, and then externally. And then you can. But don't rush it. Have fun being by yourself. Bro, don't. The key is don't rush it. Literally, focus on you, and something will happen. Yes. You have to take action when this something happens. You can't just sit like this, and a, a husband's just gonna drop out of the sky. No. But focus on yourself. Be the best the right, version the, of you can the be. The right person will, will show up. And don't use your social awkwardness as a crutch. That's where a lot of people with, you know, what we go through fall into a bad cycle. Is like you blame your social, you use that as a crutch. You got to accept it and be like, yeah, I am awkward. That's fine. I've done that and I created a company out of it. And people think, you think you're socially awkward and you're at a disadvantage, but that everyone has something. Yes. Somewhat, this other person might be insecure. They might be... Uh, faking, which is way worse. They might be faking who they are, putting on a front, a character. Don't think, don't use that as a crutch, like he said. But also, don't think that you're just like this freak person. Yes, everybody has something. If you're socially awkward, that means you might be really mature emotionally because yes. you're always with your thoughts and you're just chilling by yourself. There's always it's it's push and pull, pros and cons. Everyone and, has them. And now that I'm thinking about it more, I can kind of tell that they're using like their mindset's a little messed up. Because they said the first thing I've been single for twenty years. Yeah. Well, you got to think about it. You've been an adult for, for two exactly. So, well, you're looking pessimistically already. Yeah. Like, what like are you going to date when you're three? Yeah. Like, like you're, you, you're all right. You're yeah. a kid. You're good. Enjoy life. You're good. I would say, you know what I mean. Go outside. You know, wear that little dress. You know what I mean. See if there's any prowlers on the loose. Have fun. You're young. Don't lock that. Don't don't go and lock that thing up in the cellar before it's before the, the when the wine is still aging. Yikes! <laughs> you know what time it is, though. I think it's time for people's favorite segment. You know what that is? Pop, Pop culture, pay in the camp. Pop culture, pay in the camp. Wow! I'm going first. I already know what you're We're saying, and I'm, I'm double culture. downing. Double downing. For all the dogs, it's a Ruby bark. <laughs> Ruby's like that little one Chihuahua <laughs> video that <laughs> he gave his soul into it. I can't wait to see Ruby in a, in a matter of an hour. I know she's God. She loves you. Can so I take much. her to the casino? Absolutely not. She'll smell like cigarettes and regret. <laughs> she absolutely loves you though. My dog. Okay, before we talk about Drake, Ruby is emotionally obsessed with Peyton. Like I have that effect on when we She's a woman. She is a woman, but you had to you had to say that. It's true. When he walks in my front door, it's like she doesn't have a father anymore. <laughs> I, I she doesn't care about me. Yeah. It is all Uncle P. I love it. I love seeing it, but sometimes I get jealous. That's how your kid's gonna be too. Then that's fine. Wait, Uncle P, we get to go to McDonald's and get cool toys. Mom and Dad never let me do that. They had me eat. They had me count the macros on the back of my pudding. Yeah, then that's when you go, "Damn, son, you're only six. And you have a hell of a developed upper back." And I go, "Sure does." And I'll be like, oh, but you can't use it because he's an astrophysicist. Aww. And he plays piano and violin real good. I go, hey, P, what's your kid's skinny little sack of bones choking on over there? And he's like this. (gasps) (gasps) And then he grows up to be a superstar. Push nine. Hell of a nickname already. 
Uh, Drake released. He, he, had the a, dogs. he had us on a leash. No dog joke intended. He had us on a leash since September 22nd. Or honestly, since September like 6th, whenever was the first drop. Then it was sep- said it was September 22nd. And then it said it was October's very own. So he dropped in October. But album is out. A lot of bangers. Couple mid songs, but majority bangers. This is what. Let, let me get into I a, have a hot take, though. Okay. Kind of. All right. Super quick, though. Do you think this is a timeless album? You can't. It's been out for. 11 hours but the way the way it can't sounds just you but if, do that. if you had to answer can't right now it. can't like okay you physically can't and but that's this, the thing this is what i'm saying though just listen just listen i'm not i'm not being a critic i fu- i love drake i love the album it's not even about that i'm saying listening to an album like take care yes. on the first listen just the production and the musicality of the album as compared to this different times but i, I would say that's it, what i'm saying do you think this will age really really can't good can't tell I can't tell. Yeah, it's hard, impossible to tell. Off, I've not. I've only had one cohesive listen through, and I've been. And then if I've been going back to some songs and stuff like that. This is the thing I want to say about music. And I talked about this like episode like six, whenever Jack Harlow shit came out. I hate the new age way people listen to music. Yeah. It's immediately like I'm gonna listen to it first, and I'm gonna form the first opinion. Yeah, it's that's like not you can't what do music that. is. Can't do that. Music, you sit down. with I the, fall victim to that. Yeah, I, I, it's everybody because it's we're in a live, we live in a social media age where you got to be the first person to say something. Everybody has to have an opinion. And oh, I, da- I damn sure don't go and leave Yelp reviews. No, I'm just I saying. Just talk I'm to talking myself. about the, as a whole, like how the community works. But this is the thing: music is meant to be sat with. You have different experiences with it. You listen to it in different places. You listen, like, you got to hear this song when you're on a beach. You got to hear this song late at night driving in the city. You got to hear this song. We got a couple drinks and you had a club. Like, that's how you really formulate uh, your thing on an album. And so this is one of the main things I got from this album on the first listen. My favorite Drake album is Nothing Was The Same. I feel like it's one of the best rap albums of all time. It's because I love rap yeah, albums those. as cohesiveness. When an album is cohesive and it's like a body of work and you feel like you're inside of Start a movie. Start to finish, each one yeah. means something different. Yeah. It brings you a vibe and you're like, this is a this is like a movie. Tuscan like Leather. Oh my God. Tuscan Leather. And that album, you can play it backwards. He made it to where you can play it backwards. And it was like the first one of the time. And, and uh, Kendrick did it with fucking some album and everybody raved about it but drake did it first anyway i'm just saying anyway um but i feel like this album is not cohesive yeah but what i think he tried to do is because a lot of the complaints after certified lover boy is he keeps making he has a formula to his album where he has a super rap as the intro and then he goes into his girl songs and his guy songs slow songs rap song like it's formula like you can go from take care to whatever and it's all formulated the same. And he heard that, and then he made this, where it's not that it's not cohesive. But he, ha- if you look at it, there's a song for every Drake fan. There's a rap, rap, rap Drake, which I love. I there, love that too. Then there, Mogul Drake. Then there's Take Care Drake on it. Like you go with that that weekend, not the weekend song, the Party Next Door song, and songs like that. That sounds like Take Care Drake. And then you got Spanish Drake. And then you got Baboni, which is not my song, but I, I mean, it's not for me, but it's definitely for an audience. And then you got. The sexy red song for the girls, not Ugh. my favorite song, but it's not for us. It was yeah. literally, and it's gonna go crazy in that in those environments. But it, it, I feel like this album, there's so much for everybody, and I think that's what's gonna make it a good album. So yeah, that's my thing. Go ahead. What's your take? Your take on the album? I mean, I agree on the cohesiveness. Like it's, it doesn't sound like a. I mean, I don't, I don't really think it is a concept album. No, no, like not at all. I, I appreciate a concept album, yeah, but no. sometimes they get annoying. I don't even know if Drake's ever made a concept album. I don't think he has either. But uh, you can definitely tell there's some new age like songs on it and stuff and like and stuff like that. But I also I mean I agree that it's too it's just too early to f- like it's literally been out today. Yeah, they were f- when we're recording this is yeah is is the sixth. So it's like there's I, I, it it honestly blew my mind how many like negative tweets I've already seen about it. And I'm like. It's all for retweets. They don't. I'm like, that. my God, would you listen to two songs? Like, yeah. like, it's been out for an hour and a half. I hate that. I hate that. Drake's of absolute goat, and everyone knows it. So there's no need to like. It, I just I hate that about life now with social media. It's like it's literally cool to hate on things. Oh yeah. And the crazy part is, without getting like too, because people, hell, someone could clip this and be like, oh, he's sensitive. But it's like, it's normally people that are in zero position to talk about someone else. That goes, dude, that's exactly what I, And this is the thing. Have you ever left a, a negative comment on a YouTube video? Never. 
I have never, never I have, I couldn't even think about that because my mind is if I don't like it, I simply Get click back and I leave the video. I, it's it, how are you gonna watch something to its full extent and click the dislike button and then leave a negative comment and type something. That's insane work. Like I, I can, I How genuinely don't you? understand. How insecure are you? It's insane work. Like I get not liking shit. Leave, I don't like leave, a lot of leave. things. You have the option. You don't have to listen to the song. You don't have to watch that movie. You don't have to play that game. But for you to do it, then complain about it at a public forum is like crazy. It's just weird, bro. It's it's insane. I've never done that ever. I don't get it. That, uh, uh, there was a point I was getting to that I forgot about that. But yeah, I, I feel like it's a, that's a certain demographic of people that are. What they're either kids or in fact the ones that really surprise me are like the grown adults. Like I, I'll, go, I'll go into I tend to not really go into TikTok comments anymore because it's not our actual fan base. Like here I'll read all y'all's comments, but on TikTok it's just a it's a mess. But like you go in there and it's people like these dudes aren't funny. I don't know how yeah. anybody watches it. Like that's fine if you feel that way. We're not for everybody. It's like what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's like what are you doing? What are you doing? And I click I click their profile. And it's a guy. Looks like his name's Jerry. Yeah. Forty-five. Kids like, in his TikTok. With like one video of like a horse yeah. in a truck. And I'm like, oh my god. I'm so sorry. We need to hire you for the content review. I know. It's like I want to go in that comment and be like, dude, you're the funniest person ever. Yeah. You should come on. I remember a long time ago, whenever we weren't as big, and I could kind of go at haters. No, I can't because it would like our fans would annihilate them. Thanks, guys, but don't do it. Y'all are real ones. We love you. But no, there need is to, a, no need to do that. Spread positivity. There was a dude who made TikTok videos I remember. about me. I remember. It was before you. Yeah, it was before you got on. I would show you. And he would be like, this dude's so not funny. So, like, and I was like, why does he hate me? And then I went into his profile. His content? He would dress up in Incredibles costumes and dance in the Walmarts. That sucks. <laughs> That's bad content. <laughs> you're portraying a character. You've, I get the freedom to sit and be myself on a sofa. And you've amassed y no audience? <laughs> That's crazy. You're doing big things. So I would just say. But we don't, yeah. It, it, that was a quick little vent sesh, but it was good. Yeah. Uh, for all of y'all, don't go uh, at bat for us and don't defend us. Just spread positivity. Favorite song so far on the album, and we can get out of here. Boy, first person shooters out of this world. That's one of the greatest rap songs. Paint a Picasso or Drew a Picasso. That one's fantastic. Good song. Uh, so many good songs on here. Now I'm looking at it. What's the one? The fourth song? Daylight. Daylight's fantastic. Fifth. Fifth. Yeah, Daylight. Daylight. Uh, I D A G F. I D G A F. Like that a lot. Eight A P. Eight A M in Charlotte. Eight A M Charlotte's unreal. That's my favorite. Drink. Unreal work. Oh yeah. my god! I want to put on Time a Sam silk Drake. shirt. <laughs> With a with a like turban, a, with a fishbowl wine glass, and gamble baccarat, <laughs> baccarat. All right, guys, that was pop, pop culture, Peyton and Cam. Pop culture, Peyton and Cam. Wow, we absolutely love y'all. This is episode eighty-one. Thank you for coming back week after week, feet after feet, blow after blow, Joe after Joe. You is a dirty little. Thank you for coming back, episode Whoa. eighty-one. We absolutely love y'all. Um. What can they expect on Patreon? Patreon. One, another. This is two in like four weeks. Another one hour, 10 minute talks episode is out right now. Killing it. Including the Golden Girls, which some of you have seen Mama Lives, Mom, which is Chrissy P, Lolly, whatever you want to call her. But no one has ever experienced Aaron and Tiffany. Hilarious episode. About an hour long, maybe 45 minutes. So funny, though. Go watch that. That's on Patreon. Um, we're going to have some other stuff, too. Some behind the scenes vlogs coming out on Patreon very, very soon this week. Uh, it's gonna be fantastic the koala club love all the support love the funny comments in there, too And also I have something for uncle P that I haven't told him yet, but I'm not gonna tell him yet. On you're, Patreon? Just, you're just gonna see it on Patreon. Yeah, I don't like that Yeah, <laughs> so, so, I don't like that, um, but we absolutely love y'all. Cool any, collabs coming soon. Any, oh Big cool collabs coming soon Baccarat Baccarat Code All right, for this week to get Sorry. your secret karma. That's don't sick. ever interrupt me on my code of giving again. Secret karma totally for this week. Uh, you got it. Gib. G-I-B. Garden in back. Yes, sir. That boy's smart. Hey, we need to like tally Bert, up. Hey, clip it. Clip it and use it. That, he said I'm smart. <laughs>
We need to tally up your total, like your wins and losses for guessing I, the. I feel you're like I'm over good. 500. You're at least around 500 yeah. for sure. But GIB, Gib, leave it on Instagrams, leave it on TikToks, leave it here, leave it everywhere, put it in the Discord, everything. We absolutely love you. <laughs> looks like me. This was episode 81. That pillow is an actual representation of Peyton, just without skin and lower back hair. But. Well, my body here. We love y'all so, so much. Thank you for coming back. We cannot wait to see you next week. Big thanks coming soon. New York, we're seeing you in less than a month, my friends. Three weeks from today-ish. All right, guys. Remember, one out of ten koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. And we will Wait, see you. Are you there? No, we will see. No, we're coming down the other way. We no, no, will take a left. see take a left. you again next huh? week. Is your phone on speaker? I need to bathe my balls. Goodbye.